Hello, today we're going to look at how we can connect a Power BI report directly in a tab in a Power Apps like Power BBM that we have here. So traditionally you need an XRM toolbox or some kind of script to be able to connect a Power BI report and have it filter on the project or entity that you had open. But now there's actually a much easier way and it's not quite intuitive how it works. So let's us, let me show you how it works and uh, yeah, let's begin. So, if we start out here, I have our Power Apps open. This is a, an older version of Power PBM. But if I go in here and open Accelerated Growth, we can of course see we got a couple of tabs here, but I cannot show any reports. Of course, you could embed the report like this, simply just showing a standard report, but then it would not be filtered. It will just show all projects. And what we want to do is of course to filter it so it only shows the project that we currently have open. All right, let's start by creating a Power BI report. So to do that, I'm just gonna use the quick method here of visualizing the report. And this is just gonna generate a sample report for us that we can put a few fields in and start showing on the tab. Great, report is ready, let's view it. It looks good, very simple report here. Let's just add in the name so we can see that it actually filters on this particular name. Great, let's save that. And we're just gonna give it a name. So let's call it status report. And let's just place it in a workspace here. Looks good. Let's take a look in Power BI. Great. So the next thing we're going through is go to make.powerapps.com and just open up the working solution. Now you can of course also work from the default layer. I like to always work in a custom solution here so I know where all my changes is. And you can see I already added the project table in here. And what we're going to do now is add an existing Power BI report. Notice the difference here between a dashboard and an analytics Power BI report. You need to add this one up here. Just going to go to Power BI and we will choose the workspace, customer demos, and let's uh, rename this status report just to filter it. There it is. Let's add it. Great. So the next thing we're going to do is open up our project entity and take the form where we want to show the report. And now we can add in a new tab here. Let's just make it a one column tab and name this tab report. Let's just expand it to use the entire space. And we should be able to see it here. And right now it's just empty. So let's go ahead and add the Power BI report component here. <clears throat> so obviously it's gonna ask us what report we want to use. We want to use our newly created status report here. And then we can say whether we wanna show the filter pane, uh, expand filter pane by default. No, let's not do that. Let's just have it available. And we can set all kind of options here. But where it gets interesting is, of course, down here in the filter section. So in order to filter it, there's this option to bind it to a table column. To be honest, I actually don't know. I haven't made this work. Um, I don't know if there's missing some documentation from Microsoft here, but um, I found a way to use the static value here. So let's uh, go ahead and put in the static value. And for that, we need a little JSON script here, a JSON code. So you see, we need to put in this code here. We need to modify a few things because this is the table of the Power BI table that we want to filter on. This is the column in Power BI we want to filter on. And this is the column in the uh, application that we want to filter on. So let's go ahead and find those information. Let's start with the projects here. So I'm gonna go into uh, Power BI and I can see that the table is called, table is called Active Projects. So let's just rename this to Active Projects. And I can see here that the column name is just called Name. So let's just rename that to Name. And if I go in here to the form, I actually can't see it from here, cannot see it from here. So let's just go ahead and click OK here and go to our controls and we want to see what is the logical name for name. Let's just edit this column. 
And if I expand advanced options here, we can see that that is pum underscore name. And it actually already has that name. All right, great. So notice here that there are no line breaks here, and that is important because if you have line breaks, Power BI have a tendency to not understand what we put in here. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm also going to put that in the description of this video for you to copy. And then I'm going to go back in here, just select the Power BI tab, expand components, edit it, and just, whoop, and that disappeared. And just scroll down here to the static value and paste in the script that we just made. Great, let's click OK on that. We can save and publish it. Obviously, right now it's not going to show anything because this is the editing form where no project is selected. Great, now that is saved, let's go over to our application here to just test it out. So I'm just going to do a hard refresh. And let's open up Accelerated Growth and go to the... All right, let's do another hard refresh. And we should see a report section now. Yes, great, so we are on Accelerated Growth. Let's look, take a look at the report. And we would expect this now to be filled up by the report name. And it is great, so we just see Accelerated Growth here. We see there is one overall KPI status and so on. And obviously, if I went into another project, let's take the C40 operating system and open up the project here, or the report here, then we can see there's only one here and there's, well, no completed work on this particular project. Great, thank you for, for looking. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a, a like, a comment, or even subscribe to uh, receive more good content like this.